Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel. So if y'all didn't know, today I am currently 11 weeks, but I am doing my 10 week update since today I'm actually starting my 11 weeks. So next weekend was when I'm when I'll do my 11 week update. And before we get into this video, I want to just let y'all know it's really funny because I'm recording, but I don't like when people hear me record. So I keep stopping the video and then I listen like. I just want everybody to still do what they doing while I'm recording my video. I don't want nobody to stop to hear what I'm talking about. But if y'all not subscribed to my channel, go subscribe to my channel and turn on y'all notifications so that whenever I post a video, y'all can get notified. Um. So, in my nine weeks, I was stating how like I was always vomiting like in the morning after I brushed my teeth and um how I was just tired and you know I just had all the saliva and it actually got worse last week was my worst week through this whole i'm out of breath right now i'm sorry um last week was the worst week that i ever had um someone commented on there um like even on my facebook page people was commenting tell me to um suck on like peppermint candies um eat something before i get actually get out of bed like if i needed to eat a um cracker or you know always keep like crackers on me but i t i don't know if i i think i did i posted in the video and i said eating crackers was like very hard for me because they're so dry so it's hard for me to like swallow it and then when i try to follow it with the water it just makes me even more sick so um somebody actually from my job recommended that i get cheeses because she's you know she's um currently pregnant but she's further along and she said cheeses were the, the best things for her so i was like okay yeah so i ended up buying cheeses but i got it yesterday so um i'll let y'all know next week how that goes if you know it continues as far as like my nausea and everything um what else the saliva everything everything still was the same it just got worse the vomiting the vomiting got worse like sometimes i was actually not even vomiting in the morning like i would vomit in the morning even before i brushed my teeth at this point it was like as soon as i would get up and i would like start moving around getting ready i would notice like, i was getting sick like and just i would stand over the toilet and just get really sick and so then i'll start vomiting or sometimes it's like after i brush my teeth but i noticed that the vomiting increased and even um at work or later on in the evening when I was at home, I noticed a lot of times I was just getting sicker and um, I tried to eat more because I wasn't really eating and I was afraid that I wasn't, you know, giving my baby enough nutrition because I wasn't eating enough food. So I remember just like kind of like forcing myself to eat certain things and after every time it would seem like it would always just sit either right here or at the top of my stomach and like I would be just so congested with the food, like, uh, like so uncomfortable. And then I'll notice like later on, eventually I'll end up throwing it up and then I'll feel way better, of course, but the vomit, it did get worse. Um, after, y'all, I'm so tired. After my nine weeks, when I actually went into my 10 weeks, I told y'all like my favorite snack was the white cheddar popcorn. I didn't eat no white cheddar popcorn, none, this week because I just, I didn't want it no more. I wasn't craving it at all. Um, I didn't tell y'all that I, the only thing that I was able to eat was like grits and eggs. So still I'm able to eat grits and eggs still to this day. But the only thing that's changed as far as my snacks is like, um, I still eat my fruits on a regular, like apples, oranges, pineapples, grapes. But I also, um, was craving fruit snacks more so i just added that to my snacks i just went and went grocery shopping yesterday and we went again this morning but um i got some applesauce fruit snacks i got the white cheddar cheese it's um what else did i get i really wanted some pickles but i didn't get no pickles because i was trying to avoid eating pickles because i can really i like pickles just without being pregnant period but I wanted to, you know, I just didn't buy it because I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't feel like all that. So, um, what else did I get? Um, I got a, 
I got a note here actually. Oh, popsicles. And not the popsicles that is in like um, the baggy kind that you freeze and you like bite. Because, you know, I bite my popsicles. I like crunch them up and then like bite them. Like, you know, suck it out. But not those popsicles. But I got the popsicles, the, like the rocket kind, the red, white, and blue popsicles. I got those because I don't know. I was craving them. Baby, stop <laughs> doing that. You just scared the fuck out of me. If you don't want to be in my video... Don't come out here. <laughs> Ugly. <laughs> and then, um, I, we had our first doctor's appointment Thursday. And we didn't get an ultrasound. We didn't do any of that. You was a real creep. I hope you know that. You just made me mad. And I'm not deleting that. We had our first doctor's appointment on Thursday. And she basically told me everything that I already knew. Um my delivery my expected delivery date was july 12th um i was 10 weeks and four days then well, i'm currently 11 weeks now um she went over everything that i couldn't and could eat as far as like i didn't know that i couldn't eat um like um sandwich meat unless it was like cooked like she was like well if you eat it put it in the microwave or something or cook it a little bit but I don't eat sandwich meat as it is already because that was just something that I had stopped eating because I didn't want it. Um, um, hot dogs, she said, like, try not to eat hot dogs. Um, I didn't really, when I eat hot dogs, he usually grill them on the stove. So I don't ever, like, eat the boiled hot dogs anyways. It's like we usually grill them. But um, she told me um, to avoid eating hot dogs. Um... I had a frappe yesterday and usually I had stopped eating the frappes because they would give me a lot of gas, like really bad gas. But yesterday I had one. Um, I just been craving a lot more dairy products, but not like cheese, but more so like ice cream and stuff. And I asked, oh yeah, that was something else that I bought. I had bought some yogurt with some granola and, and you know, my berries and stuff, you know, just so I can get like a little more like the dairy without having to eat like so much cheese and um ice cream and what else i have more energy than i did when i first started off like i noticed it was towards the end of the week so like going into friday like friday when i was at work i actually usually when i'm at work i usually take my lunch around like 12 o'clock and i would take like a 30 minute nap like i'll go in one of the patients room and i'll take a nap but I was able to not, I didn't go on break until like around almost two o'clock. It was like 1.45 and it, I was okay because I'm like, I got a little more energy than usual. So it wasn't really that bad. Um, so I did notice that like towards the end of the week, I got more energy. And, and that's another thing that my doctor was saying. She was saying like, hopefully like that this time period is like the worst that I'll be like vomiting and not nauseating and everything like that so i did notice a change in like my energy and um now i'm able now i have more um cravings to eat because at first i was just like oh everything disgusted me now i'm like i'm ready to eat some food so i noticed that i've been able to eat like yesterday i had subway but i don't have i don't get the deadly meat i get over roasted chicken so my meat is cooked anyways and toasted so really Ooh, child. Hold on, because I'm out of breath, y'all. Oh, that's another thing. I wasn't drinking enough water either, so I think that was another thing. I think I was getting dehydrated a lot because I wasn't drinking a lot of water because it was like a forced kind of thing. So um, now I'm able to drink more, more fluids. And I think that's probably another reason why I have more energy as well, because I've been actually able to um, get some fluid in my system. And then I don't drink pop or um, juice either. The only time I drink a juice is like orange juice, but I slowed down on the orange juice because the last time I threw up, I threw up some of the orange juice. So it kind of like turned me off from it a little bit. So I'm just really trying to stay more towards the water. But that was another thing. But the light is like really going down. So I'm going to wrap the video up. Um, I'm gonna show y'all my belly, and I'm I'm getting on my tippy toes because I'm, um, I'm out of breath. But um, I'm gonna show y'all my belly now, and 
um that just really include that that concludes 10 weeks it's not it's nothing really much of a difference but a lot of a difference we're going to pray that this week goes by really well i have two days off this week so i will be able to get a lot more rest and i don't have to be up so early for work so um i work tomorrow but i don't have to be there until 10 o'clock thank god and then i'm off tuesday and wednesday so that's another good thing so um if y'all have any questions let me know i always respond um yeah so i'm gonna show y'all my belly and i will see y'all next week y'all don't i i i really want to record this whole video over and do it over here where i have better lighting but here's my belly my back being wide <laughs> I mean, not my shirt, my belly, but my shirt up. And I know somebody gonna ask about my nipple rings. Um, I don't know what I'm taking them out. I'm, a, cause they're not really bothering me. Even though my boobs be a little tender sometimes, they not. Like my nipples aren't like leaking or anything yet. And so it's not really bothering me. So um, I'm really hesitating on taking them out because I just want to hold on to them as long as I can. And so um, I don't know when I'm gonna take them out because this is the hardest thing to let go right now. Because if y'all understood the pain that came behind these and just to let it go like that. So I'm holding on to them as long as I can because I know I probably will never get these done again until I know I'm done having kids. So um, I'll see y'all next week.